What is up everyone, it's Eric for Mobile back here with another video and today guys I wanted to talk about how to flash a file on your phone like a custom ROM or any other zip file that you have to flash through your recovery. So let's jump right into that. First thing you're going to need obviously is a rooted phone with a custom recovery. This is a 2015 Moto X but it will pretty much work on any phone that is rooted and has a recovery with a few uh, minor variations. I'll get into those a little bit later. But um, assuming that you're rooted and have a recovery, what you're gonna need to do is download the zip files that you want to flash, be it a ROM or G Google Apps or a modification, whatever. And then I highly recommend that you download a custom file explorer from the Play Store. I use a handful of different ones, but here's ES File Explorer. So when you download um, files from a website or wh whatever source you're getting it from, typically your phone is gonna put it in the um, phone storage under downloads. And just for convenience sake, when we're working with our custom recovery, what I like to do is take them out of the downloads folder and move them to the root of the SD card. And what I mean by that is not inside any other parent folder, not inside any folder that you make, just right on the root of the card. So you can see here I have um, a ROM and super user zip um, and exposed. So this is, I just recommend this because it makes it easier to locate those files when you're in your custom recovery because um, I'm not sure how it is with, with all the various recoveries, but the TWRP recovery, which is by far the most common right now, will default view to your SD card's storage. So if you move your zip files to there, it'll be really easy to find them in recovery. But anyway, I have a ROM here and um, another zip file. I'll show you how you can add multiple files and flash them all at the same time. You don't have to do them one at a time. But anyway, what you're gonna wanna do after you've downloaded your zip files and move them to your SD card. Um, by the way, if you don't have a phone that has an SD card, it's all internal storage. You can leave your files um, in your download folder of your device's storage. Um, and then when you get into your recovery, it will default to your internal storage since that's all you have. But anyway, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do once you have your files is reboot into recovery. Um, pretty much the easiest way to do this is to just power off your device. Um, it'll take a second to shut down and then I'll show you the key functions on the Droid Turbo, or sorry, that's my old phone on the Moto X anyway on how to get into recovery using your um, keys. It changes phone to phone. They also have free apps in the Play Store like Reboot Recovery that you can use where you open the app and it just gives you a button to push to reboot into your recovery. But if you don't wanna download an app, mostly, um, at least on the Moto X 2015, you wanna hold down the power button and the volume down button at the same time. This will actually reboot you into the bootloader so you just have to do it for a couple of seconds and then there you are into the bootloader and then you use the volume keys to navigate up and down through the different um, you know, options that you can boot into. So what you're gonna wanna do is volume down to the recovery mode. This will get you into your custom recovery. Go ahead and push the power button to select that. It'll just take a second and then it should reboot you into your custom recovery. Once we get into that, like I said, it just takes a second and then here we are in TWRP recovery. Okay, so once we are in our custom recovery, the first thing you are going to need to do is do some wiping of your phone's um, caches and system. So there's this wipe uh, button here on the top right. Go ahead and select that. Now, if this is your first time ever flashing a ROM on your phone, it is highly recommended that you do a factory reset and clear your caches. Um, if you were to have installed a ROM and then an updated version of that same ROM came out, you typically don't have to do a factory reset. You can do what's called a dirty flash where you only clear your caches. But since this is a first install of a ROM, we're going to go ahead and do a factory reset and clear the caches. So down here, when you open that wipe tab, it just says swipe to factory reset. You wanna go ahead and do that. This will wipe all your data and everything, so it is highly recommended before doing any of this that you make a backup of your device's um, information. I have done a video on how to do that on my channel as well, so go ahead and check that out. Pause this, make a backup before doing any of this. 
It says it was successful. Um, since I'm kind of crazy about this kind of thing, I like to do it twice just to make sure everything is flat or everything has been cleared. So I'll go ahead and hit back. And then what you're gonna wanna do to clear your caches is go into this advanced wipe tab right here. Click on that. And then this is Dalvik cache and the system cache right here. You're just gonna wanna select just those two full, um, just those two tabs right there. So Dalvik cache and cache. Go ahead and swipe to wipe them. It just takes a second, go back. I usually do it a second time just because I'm a little crazy. But um, anyway, once that's done, you can hit back and uh, we can back all the way out to the um, boot up screen here for your recovery. Now we are ready to flash the ROM. So next you wanna click this install tab right here. Go ahead and click that. And this is why we wanted to go and move those zip, uh, zip files to your SD card is because this will default to your SD card view. If you have them buried somewhere else, like in the downloads of your internal memory, you'd have to go and mess through and find it in your other folders. But anyway, it defaults your SD card storage. So there they are right there at the bottom. What you're gonna wanna do is select the file that you want to flash. In this case, I will be flashing two files at the same time. So what you do is select the first file and then um, right here on the left, it says add more zips. You can go ahead and select that and then you can add another zip that you wanna flash. In this case, I'm flashing super user. Once you're ready to go, this tab down here says swipe to um, confirm flash. Go ahead and do that. And then your phone will go through the process of flashing the files that you have selected. Um, this can take you know, a long time, sometimes depending on how big the file is. If you're flashing a stock ROM, it can be multiple gigs. So don't freak out if it takes a little while. Give it some time, let it do its thing, and when it's done, it'll tell you so. So we'll um, pick it back up when we get to that point. All right guys, so the flashing has been finished successfully. It tells you right there, successful in blue. If anything went wrong, if your zip file was not correct, um, if there was any error in the process, it will say unsuccessful right there in red. Um, hopefully you never have to see that. That's why you make a backup of your system. 100% recommend that. But anyway, it has finished. Um, what I like to do once it's done is I go in and I click this wipe cache and Dalvik and go ahead and clear your cache one more time. Um, I do it a couple times, like I said, just because I'm a little crazy. But once that's done, there's this button right here that says reboot system. Go ahead and click that. Now the other thing I will say is when you have flashed a ROM on your phone, sometimes it can take a while for the new ROM to boot up. So it may seem, you know, depending on the ROM, it may seem like your phone has frozen, um, like the flash didn't work because it will take a really long time to boot. That is normal with a lot of ROMs. So, um, you know, if that is the case, don't worry about it. Set your phone down, let it do its thing where it's setting up all the systems and everything and you should get your phone to boot up, you know, after a few minutes. It shouldn't take longer than, you know, five or six minutes, typically. Um, if your phone just will not boot and it, it just seems frozen and it stays that way for a long time, you can turn your device off, reboot back into your recovery, and restore your backup. Again, um, that is why I would recommend doing a backup. But anyway, we'll let this boot up. Um, we'll see how long it takes and we'll pick it back up again uh, once the phone has booted back up. All right guys, so it probably took about three or four minutes but the um, boot screen has gone away and we are into the phone setup or anyways it says that Android is starting there. Um, so we are booting into the system now. Um, main thing to remember is that, um, like I said before, be patient. It may take a few minutes for your ROM to boot. Um, but just you know, let the phone do its thing and you should be fine. Um, another important thing to remember is when flashing a ROM specifically, always follow the instructions that the developer posts. Um, usually when a developer makes a ROM, they will also include instructions on how you should flash it, whether it be doing a full factory reset and clearing the cache, or they will tell you if it's okay to skip the reset part and just do a dirty flash or where you only clear the caches. Um, they'll usually include those instructions. Um, so just follow those to the T and um, you will always be fine. And I'll say it again, make a backup. Can't stress that enough because if anything goes wrong for any reason, you can always revert to your backup. Um, but that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Pretty shortly, I will be um, posting some videos 
on ROMs for the Moto X 2015, as well as some other root related stuff um, for Android phones. So if you're into that, um, please subscribe if you liked the video and if it helped you out. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments down below of any videos you'd like to see in the future. But anyway, guys, I really appreciate you checking out my video, and we'll see you on the next one.